Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So in the last episode, I briefly touched about touched upon uh, Salesforce Einstein basics. Um, and where I mentioned, you know, the primary role of, of a chatbot, and I've also demonstrated from a New Zealand uh, uh, perspective uh, using uh, one of the countdown app, right? One of the uh, chatbot app. Now, that being said, right, today what I wanted to do, I wanted to uh, look at the Einstein capability when it comes to uh, service cloud, sales cloud, uh, marketing cloud, and commerce cloud. Obviously, you know, AI is a very hot topic. Everyone talks about AI. So when you normally hear about AI, they will say, oh, Einstein, we got an Einstein in the picture, right? Is it a generative AI or is it a predictive AI? What is it? And where should I be using it, right? And even if you take this to a business, right, or to an architect, they will say, that's great. I mean, AI is a smart assistant and, it, you know, it's been launched in X, Y, Z here. Uh, but just tell me from my business perspective, how can I leverage Einstein, right? It's it's all cool, the catchy AI phrase, but where will I be using it from a business perspective, right? That's the questions you should be answering. That's the question you should be um, telling people if you wanted to sell Einstein, right? I mean, it's okay from a tech standpoint. you got a lot of capability with Einstein. You can even, you know, um, the Salesforce uh, recently mentioned you can bring your own language model, which is pretty great. You can train uh, data using your own language model, or you can do a lot of things, right? That's all cool, cutting edge stuff. But from a business perspective, right? If I'm a business user, I would like to know where I can use it so that it can help me from a business standpoint. Okay, let's look at one by one. Uh, I can't demo this, unfortunately, because I do not have an org at this stage, which Einstein set up. And this course really don't need you to do uh, hands-on because it's this certification is mostly about understanding the AI capability, trust framework, and what we need to use and, and the things you need to consider when you are talking from an AI perspective, uh, from a business perspective, when it comes to artificial intelligence. Okay. Now, Einstein, like I said, it can be used in a sales cloud, right? Now, obviously, if you are using sales cloud, if you are a sales rep, your main role is to sell. Okay. You wanted to make sure that uh, you convert your leads into opportunity. And the more leads you convert into opportunity, the more you will be rewarded based on in form of commission and, and whatnot, right? Uh, just to give you a very simple context. Um, so if you're going to use... Uh, Einstein, right, uh, in, in sales cloud, then Einstein will take care of a lot of things for you. First of all, um, it discover the pipeline trends and take action. As you can see, right, it's there. It wins the boon, uh, sorry, it boosts the win rates by prioritizing leads and opportunity, which is most likely convert. So it's actually help you uh, to work with the leads, which most likely you're going to convert that into opportunity, which is great, right? Otherwise, it's kind of if you don't have enough data, so you won't really know, okay, whether this lead's going to convert into opportunity, which leads I should be paying more attention to. So Einstein will help you that, which is pretty cool. And I believe it's very important from a business perspective. If you are someone who really relies, just give me an example. I'll give you an example, right? If I'm a brewing company, so if I'm a brewer, right, if I manufacture, let's say, the most delicious beer in the planet, but I wanted to make sure that my product reaches the right customer. And how do you do that? Just, you know, you need to have different campaign and marketing campaign in place. But at the same time, I would also like to know which customer will more likely to buy beers from us. So that's where, you know, Einstein will play an important role. Um, and also, uh, it helps the sales customer by maximizing the time spent uh, selling by automating data capture. Obviously, you don't have to worry about the manual data capture, right? If you can automate that process, imagine how much help it can offer to the sales reps, right? Which is great. I mean, uh, look, I'm not from Salesforce, right? I don't, I don't sell Salesforce product, but from what I can see from a business user, if I'm wearing the business class, right? Business user class, right? I can see Einstein for it's very useful in this context, right? And obviously, as a businessman, I, 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 I run companies. I sell cores, I sell books, um, and and I do some charity stuff as well. So that's besides the point. But for me, 
having that in stand for sales is really tremendously helpful. So, yeah. Okay, Einstein for service. Obviously, Service Cloud you might have used. You do with the case management. Uh, you know, if you if you think the core philosophy of the Service Cloud is to serve your customer, right? To serve your customer in an efficient way. That's the vision. That's why the Service Cloud is all there at first place, right? You know, to create a case, to help the customer with the right knowledge article. So imagine if if the if the Einstein streamlined that process, right? Let's look what other things it can do, right? Accelerate case resolution by automatically predicting and populating fields on incoming case. Obviously, when you get the case, right? So when the case gets created, maybe it's through automation or, or through whatever other means, you obviously need to have required field or certain information which helps the sales rep to troubleshoot what exactly you're trying to convey. Otherwise, what happens is that let's say you have uh, you have an issue with the solar panel. So your expectation is that, uh, but you... And there are certain types which you need to fill the type of solar panel, the year of installation. And if these informations are not there, it's very hard for the sales rep to really help you, or, or sorry, the case rep, I would say, the service agent, right? Whichever term you wanted to use. It's very difficult for them to, you know, help the customers because on what basis they're gonna help? You just say, hey, I have a problem with the, uh, say, solar panel. What's the model number? Which year that's been installed? Has it out of warranty? There's a lot of information that needs to know, right? So imagine the Einstein tying, uh, getting tied to that. And whenever you get a case, the case will have all the necessary details, which assist you as a service agent to help the customer. Pretty cool, right? Now, it also reduces handle time by collecting customer info for seam seamless. Um, it creates tailored service reply knowledge articles so obviously you know if a customer asks certain questions then it obviously it will be smart enough to figure out the right knowledge article that can be shared with the customer how cool is that right then you don't have to really have to you know wait for you know half an hour so that someone can answer your call and and that person may or may not be able to answer your query even after you know waiting the queue for half an hour so how frustrating that could be right so the knowledge article really helps there and here I mean this is pretty insane right having a the picture of the credit card but anyways the marketing cloud you can also use Einstein for marketing cloud you need to know uh, because obviously what happens right um, if you wanted to uh, give customer uh, a personalized campaign right um, or if you wanted to give, uh, to understand your customer, right? It's very important that uh, you need to know what channel the customer used to communicate. They could use, you know, different channel, so omni-channel. So if you know that information, uh, if you know the customer behavior, um, it's very easy to help them, right? So that's why Einstein works in the marketing cloud space. So it, so a few of the things it can do for you, like it knows your audience more deeply by uncovering customer insights. That's pretty, pretty important feature. I'm not, I'm not expert in marketing cloud, right? I've done some marketing cloud, but I'm not a marketing cloud architect. I, I know Salesforce more compared to marketing cloud. So, but I, so please don't quote me that if I, if I accidentally said something wrong on this area. Okay, create personalized message and content based on a consumer preference. Engage more effectively uh, by suggesting when on which channels to reach out to customers, so which is pretty powerful in my opinion. Okay, uh, Einstein for commerce, right? If you are a e if you are a you know e-commerce site, and obviously you know if your customer buys certain things from you, and you wanted to give the recommendation so that which tailors their need. That will really help the customer, right? For instance, when I buy, uh, say, uh, say, ricotta cheese, right? I get recommendation around mozzarella cheese sometimes, parmesan cheese, right? Uh, or if I buy, let's say, a pasta fettuccine, right? I sometimes get, uh, you know, recommendation for pasta spaghetti or penne or, you know, tagatelle. So, you know, this kind of stuff. Um, so that helps me. Okay, I wanted to buy, uh, let's say, ravioli. 
would you like to buy tortellini so that kind of stuff right or if you wanted to buy let's say a t-shirt uh, would you would be interested to buy a jeans along with it so that kind of tailored uh, sorry that kind of um, uh, recommendation aspect right Einstein can really fit into that so that will improve your company revenue as well because you're gonna sell more and also you know it helps the customer because let me be very honest you may not be across the entire product catalog right what a company has to offer so for instance you might like certain jeans right but you're not really aware if that company really sells them right so imagine if they give you the tailored uh, response or if you give you a recommendation aspect saying okay I wanted to buy a jeans which is great sorry if I wanted to buy a t-shirt which is great you're doing that but at the same time uh, they also recommend hey would you like to buy this jean which match to your t-shirt right so yeah that's how this way the customer will say aha I would like to buy that one so this way it will improve your customer um, experience as well as helps bring more revenue so the, the Einstein really plays a very important role here as well. So as you can see, that Salesforce is really well thought through, right? Can bought the customer experience to, uh, you know, they bought the artificial intelligence to sales cloud, service cloud, uh, marketing cloud, and commerce cloud to improve their customer experience. Now you must be thinking, yeah, that's all great. You know, how do I trust the data? How do I trust what AI is doing is correct? How do I trust that? AI don't introduce the bias. So we're going to talk about that in the future episode. I know these are interesting topic, but I personally believe Salesforce is doing an amazing work in like, I, I know how difficult to build the language model. I have my own foundation, climate change foundation. We work heavily on artificial intelligence, right? I got a few teams. It's a charity organization, but we get involved with building AI models. And something I started because I'm passionate about climate change I'm passionate about transhumanism this is one of the thing um, I'm working on a book at this moment uh, first book I'm gonna publish is climate change and then transhumanism then I'm working on um, one of the carbon sequestration project uh, which using uh, gene editing that is using the uh, the Casper uh, CRISPR Cas9 uh, to see how what's the best way we can uh, absorb more carbon dioxide. So the gene editing is one of that. That's going to be part of the Climate Change Foundation. Like I said, it's a charitable foundation. I started it last, uh, I mean, this year, um, so that I can contribute back to the society. That's It's no financial reward or anything, right? It's just my passion. It's just my drive to help the climate. And Salesforce is one of the things I do. It's not the only thing. And I'm also involved in nanotech, um, <clears throat> which is a part of a transhumanism. Um, so I've been... Yeah, I've been busy with a lot of things I can say. So that's one of the reasons why I you might see I don't I'm not doing much from the code side. My apologies. I'm working on that. Um, that's why I said I wish I, I could be a transhuman so that I could do a lot of things in a very short span of time, right? And uh, I I I <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so the and then I'm working on one of the Apex for admin book as well. So a lot of exciting things on my space pretty busy time of the year and I you might have known I've recently joined um, uh, the one of the government agencies as one of the system architects so just working across like six or seven teams a lot of stuff's going on there is exciting piece of work I would say I mean uh, I can't really put through words how exciting the kind of stuff we're doing it's more cutting-edge stuff and a lot of opportunity to improve and it, it, it I would say it's it's a good part of working in a tech industry right you get to pick and choose what you want to do um so yeah that being said i hope you guys have an amazing tuesday adios